Huaibom State House of Assembly has committed to cooperating in amending the state's independent electoral laws, aiming to ensure that local government elections take place every three years. Speaker of the House, who was represented by the Deputy Speaker, Right Honorable Kufre Edidem, gave the assurance during a public hearing organized for possible amendments of the independent electoral laws of the state. The Speaker emphasized the readiness of the House to collaborate with the state government in enacting laws that will foster growth and development, especially within the local government areas of the state. Today, in furtherance of the democratic norm that the government should be of the people, by the people and for the people, we are gathered here again to avail our people the opportunities of a public hearing on the executive bill for a law to amend the independent electoral commission law cap 69 laws of acquire state 2022 and other matters connected therewith the bill for a law to amend the independent law independent electoral commission law cap 69 laws of acquire state 2022 is not only important but critical for taking our electoral process at the local government level to a greater height on their part Chairman of Akwaibom State Independence Electoral Commission, Elder Anyedi Hoywak, affirmed the Commission's preparedness to conduct local government elections, while the State Commissioner for Information, Comrade Inye Mamobong, expressed gratitude to the House for its prompt action. The Electoral Act had provided some leverage for the State's Independent Electoral Commission to operate using the coverage of the electoral law under the electoral framework. Where the local government is accommodated, it actually speaks of the FCT. So the coming of a law, the law of the states, to give serious backing and correct some of the things that were in the old law is something that is commendable. I appreciate the speed with which the House of Assembly treats matters of public importance. And um, elections are generally the, the fertilizer of democracy. And because without elections, there is no democracy. And therefore, the Constitution in Section 7 puts the local government directly under the supervision of um, the state's House of Assembly. On the sidelines, civil society representatives in the states provided their inputs on the provisions of the bill, commending the state's government for its proactive initiative. The grants suggest that Section 8 sub 1 of the principal law should be amended by deleting the requirement that the secretary, quote, shall be appointed by the governor from the public service of the state. The grant further suggests that the new subsection 3 of Section 8 of the principal law envisaged in Section 2 of the bill should be reviewed by inserting a proviso that the secretary shall not be a card carrying member of a political party. Section 19F, as it relates to the conduct of election, there is need to remove any other situation as it leaves room for the overbearing interest of the government in power to influence the time of election that will favor uh, its political power as well support the illegal setting up of transition committee instead of timely conduct of local government elections. At a bill to amend the Akwaibom State Independent Electoral Law scaled second reading at the Assembly on the 11th of April 2024.